Hello everyone, I am the Lonely Hunter and first off I would like to welcome all the new faces, I would like to welcome all the new subscribers, I hope you are having a really great time here watching the videos, entertaining yourselves and um, I occasionally do this, I occasionally say a warm welcome to all the new subscribers because uh, there are some notifications that uh, make me pretty happy and uh, I am really glad that uh, the channel has found a solid rhythm and uh, I thank you all for this one. So let me move on now to another topic because um, a friend of mine suggested that uh, I should do an updated class setup video showing all of my new classes because uh, he understood that uh, from my videos I have some new classes to show and uh, understandably so I have more than 10 classes that uh, I occasionally use in my gameplays and uh, are really great for me but uh, personally I believe that all of those classes are really similar to the ones I showed you in the first class setup video so if you didn't check it out be sure to check it out there are some minor differences that uh, I would like to go on through this video there are some minor details that uh, I would like to stress out and uh, there are some minor changes and uh, all of those minor changes come from the tips that um, I basically get, the tips, the tricks, all of those things that uh, I basically get to watch and um, I don't really tend to trust uh, the tips and tricks channels but uh, where I get my tips from are from uh, the MLG channel because uh, I am a huge fan of competitive gaming as a viewer not as a player and um, I get the tips from there. I also trust uh, the Team Envious listening series. This is um, the best listening series uh, I have uh, ever viewed on YouTube. This is why I trust it so much and I also watch uh, the teams from Unite Gaming Scream. I also watch the 8s from uh, those competitive players and uh, I try to absorb some tips from there so some things that uh, I change in my classes of course I have um, the AN stock class yes now I am implementing the stock attachment in my assault rifles and uh, it feels really really great I also got the overkill class uh, with uh, the MSMC and the DSR just uh, in case I want to use it in uh, a slower mode like uh, search and destroy where I am a able to switch between weapons easier and um, those two classes are uh, really key classes for uh, my league play and for my pub matches because uh, they are really really solid now the mate class i tried it it wasn't the best for me but um, it was a connection dependent weapon that is why i don't uh, really blame uh, the behavior of the weapon it is all because of my connection but um, apart from that there are some things i added to the mix now first off it is um, the removal of the ghost perk i removed the ghost perk and the silencer to replace it with uh, hardline because this is what caters the most to my pub stomping activities whenever i go into a lobby and I want to get my streaks faster whenever I want to get a swarm faster I found out that uh, hardline helps me out the most that is why I decided to remove everything that hides me from the radar because um, I really don't want to hide I really want to get visible in the radar so that uh, people come to my position and uh, face me in a gunfight and uh, another thing that I have noticed is that uh, in the third tier perks I believe that uh, dead silence is now the best perk that uh, I would like to use because um, not many people have shock charges right now at least uh, the ones I face and um, I believe that most people carry tactical masks so instead of me spamming nades aimlessly instead of me spamming the concussions and having no effect at those guys because most of them spend that point on tactical mask i can counter them and put dead silence because a lot of people have headsets and um, in my previous video where i went uh, on a really great streak dead silence had a vital role to that one because uh, people weren't able to hear me and uh, they were flanked just because of that if somebody could sound horny from the stairs he could 
easily take me out so these are some of the minor changes that i believe make the difference and uh, these are pretty much the things that make my classes up to date because i don't believe i had some major changes in the weapons the weapons stayed the same so i hope you enjoyed this video guys leave it a like if you did i'll see you later i am out peace